When your team hasn't been to the postseason in 21 years, there are lots of questions about uh, what you've achieved and where you're going. And to help us address some of the things that Alex Anthopoulos said today, here's Jeff Blair and Shai Davidi. Shai, start with you. What did you take away from that press conference? Well, a couple things really stood out to me. One, the bullpen. This is something that Alex Anthopoulos was very careful to not blame for some of the team's struggles this issue. But when he said we expected to have a top five bullpen and they didn't get it, that was obviously, in his opinion, a prime factor in some of the struggles that they had. The other thing, depth and durability. We've known that positionally they've had some struggles in recent years. The pitching this year was able to get healthy from a positional player standpoint. They didn't get there. And Jeff, I thought it was really intriguing when he said they might be willing to take a little bit less talent for a guy who can stay on the field as a position player. Yeah, I think that was one of the most telling things I took away. They are aware that in Edwin Encarnacion and Adam Lind and Brett Laurie and to a certain degree Jose Reyes, they've got four players who are going to have to be monitored constantly in terms of health. My other takeaway was Jose Reyes. They have not had a discussion with Jose Reyes yet about possibly DHing a little bit more next year, maybe taking the odd day off. And they certainly haven't broached the possibility of a position change, which at some point is going to have to be a discussion. The one thing to that is that He's a guy who wants to play every day, but I think he's starting to acknowledge the fact that a day off here and there, particularly on the turf, which really beats up his body, might be a good idea next year. The uh, free agent that people are talking about with respect to this roster is obviously Melky Cabrera. His contract is at an end. He's already stated publicly, I like Toronto. I want to stay with this franchise. The question is, will he return? Do they have the money? Do they have the flexibility? What's your take? Well, I think that they certainly are going to have an opportunity to re-sign him. But the, the sense that I'm getting from people I've spoken to is that he's not coming back. And that's not because of desire and any of those things. But just the way the market's going to play out, he's probably going to be one of the two, three best offensive players on the open market. There's going to be a lot of competition, and he could very well end up being priced out of the Blue Jays market. Yeah, Jamie, I think one of the things we've seen happen this year is with Melky's performance, Johnny Peralta's performance, and Nelson Cruz's performance in particular, I think teams are going to be less reluctant to invest in guys who have been suspended for PED use. I don't think that plays into the Jays' hands at all. I agree with Shy. The one glimmer of hope I would take away if I was a Jays fan is the fact that Peter Greenberg is Melky Cabrera's agent now. Peter Greenberg is also Jose Reyes's agent. He and Alex have had a long record of friendship. Alex uses him as a sounding board. That would give me a little, just a tight, small, small glimmer of hope. Anthopoulos made it very clear that uh, as good as Aaron Sanchez has been out of the bullpen, they want to stretch him out. They want more innings as a starter than as uh, a potential back end of the bullpen. He also said the closer situation is essentially a little muddled. We know that Casey Jantz is not coming back, and they do not have a closer on staff right now. What do they do about it? Well, it's, to me, this is one of the key questions for them this offseason, because if they don't address the closer position effectively, they're going to end up in a situation where Aaron Sanchez is always going to be tempting them. Hey, maybe we should go to Aaron now. Maybe we should go to Aaron now. And bouncing him back and forth between roles is probably the worst thing they can do to him. But we've seen that happen here with Kelvin Mascobar, Dustin McGowan, even Miguel Batista. Brandon Morrow experienced that in Seattle early in his career. The Blue Jays need to settle on a role for him, and that should be as a starter because of the potential he has. But if they don't effectively fill that hole during the offseason, and Alex Anthopoulos mentioned they've looked at some free agents, guys who have been set up, been in a setup role they think can jump into the closers position, if they don't effectively fill that, that Aaron Sanchez issue is always going to be burning in the background. You're looking at me. Look, I think Aaron Sanchez... I know. You know what? I'm looking at you. I think Aaron Sanchez is going to be the closer in opening day. I, I just think that the Jays have way too much to do this offseason. They're not going to be able to dress everything. I wouldn't be surprised if, as Shai said, they bring a couple of setup guys in, give them a shot in spring training. My gut tells me that Aaron Sanchez will be closing for the Blue Jays on opening day. Is that not a lot to ask a young man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well... Despite what, I the have general faith in him. despite what the general manager <laughs> yes. says, you think uh, he's going to be closing it, for this club. It's interesting. One thing should be said, both John Gibbons and Alex Anthopoulos did say that that was a topic of much debate when they had their internal meetings. There's a lot of people in this organization 
not just Jeff Blair, who want Aaron Sanchez to close next year. Speaking of the organization and its manager, and I'll throw this out to either one of you, we know that John Gibbons has a contract for next year. Is he here to fulfill it? Uh, based on everything we've heard to this point, I would be stunned if he's not back. I think it'd be a travesty if he isn't back. The days of Walter Alston managing 20 years for the Dodgers are long gone, it seems, though. I know. I just think, though, John Gibbons deserves to be back, and I think this, he's gotten the most he possibly could out of this team. All right. Our thanks to Jeff Blair and Shai Davidi as we assess what was said over the course of the day by the general manager, Alex Anthopoulos, at the conclusion of the 2014 season.